after the funeral. In memory of Anne Jones. After the funeral, mule praises, braise, wind shape of sail shaped ears, muffled toad tap, tap happily of one peg in the thick grey's foot, blinds down the lids, the teeth in black, the spittled eyes, the salt ponds in the sleeves, morning smack of the spade that wakes up sleep, shakes a desolate boy who slits his throat in the dark of the coffin and sheds dry leaves, that breaks one bone to light with a judgment clout, after the feast of tear-stuffed thyme and thistles, in a room with a stuffed fox and a stale fern. I stand, for this memorial's sake, alone in the snivelling hours with dead, humped Anne, whose hooded, fountain heart once fell in puddles round the parched world of Wales and drowned each sun, Though this for her is a monstrous image, blindly magnified out of praise, her death was a still drop. She would not have me sinking in the holy flood of her heart's fame. She would lie dumb and deep and need no druid of her broken body. But I, Anne's bard in a raised hearth, call all the seas to service that her wood-tongued virtue babble like a bellboy over the hymning heads bow down the walls of the furred and foxy woods that her love sing and swing through a brown chapel, bless her bent spirit with four crossing birds. Her flesh was meek as milk, but this skyward statue with the wild breast and blessed and giant skull is carved from her in a room with a wet window in a fiercely morning house in a crooked year. I know her scrubbed and sour humble hands lie with religion in their cramp, her threadbare whisper in a damp word, her wits a drooled hollow, her fist of a face died clenched on a round pane. And a sculptured Anne is seventy years of stone. These cloud-sopped marble hands, this monumental argument of the human voice, Gesture and psalm, storm me forever over her grave until the stuffed lung of the fox twitch and cry love and the strutting fern lay seeds on the black sill.